uh, that Prince Harry has settled the remaining parts of his phone hacking claim against the publisher of the Daily Mirror and won further substantial damages. The Duke of Sussex had claimed journalists at the Mirror Group newspaper's publications were linked to methods including phone hacking, uh, so-called blagging, that's uh, gaining information by deception, and uh, use of private investigators for unlawful activities. In December, a judge ruled that phone hacking became widespread at MGM titles in the late 90s. Outside court, his lawyer, David Sherborne, delivered a statement on his behalf. After our victory in December, Mirror Group have finally conceded the rest of my claim, which would have consisted of another two trials, additional evidence and 115 more articles. Everything we said was happening at Mirror Group was in fact happening, and indeed far worse, as the court ruled in its extremely damaging judgment. As the judge has said only this morning, we have uncovered and proved the shockingly dishonest way in which the Mirror acted for so many years and then sought to conceal the truth. In light of this, we call again for the authorities to uphold the rule of law and to prove that no one is above it. That includes Mr Morgan, who as editor knew perfectly well what was going on as the judge held. Even his own employer realised it simply could not call him as a witness of truth at the trial. His contempt for the court's ruling and his continued attacks ever since demonstrate why it was so important to obtain a clear and detailed judgment. As I said back in December, our mission continues. I believe in the positive change it will bring for all of us. Well, our correspondent Charlie Rose uh, is outside the City Courthouse in London. Gave us this update. David Sherborne, uh, Prince Harry's lawyer, has been giving a statement to reporters and camera crews just in the past few minutes. But just, just to recap, uh, Prince Harry has been awarded substantial additional damages in his claim against Mirror Group, Mirror Group newspapers. Prince Harry's lawyer, uh, David Sherborne, said Mirror Group newspapers had agreed to make cost payments of about £400,000 uh, with further costs to be assessed. The Mirror Group newspapers have responded saying they're pleased to have reached this agreement and move forward from the events that took place many years ago. Now, this follows what happened at the end of last year when uh, Prince Harry and his legal team won 15 of 33 sample claims against Mirror Group newspapers, accusing them of unlawful information gathering, hacking his phone and voicemail, basically to get information to write stories, including uh, stories about his former girlfriend, uh, Chelsea Davy, a relationship he had when he was uh, much younger. Prince Harry said that was just the beginning. There are many more claims he wants to bring against Mirror Group newspapers, numbering some 115 claims. And we were going to find out today whether that was going to go to trial or whether there's going to be a settlement. We now know that there's been a settlement. David Sherborne, in a statement just now uh, to reporters and camera crews, said everything the Prince had said was happening during this, during this trial was happening. And he also called out Piers Morgan, the former editor of the Daily Mirror, uh, saying uh, Piers Morgan knew what was going on. In actual fact, at the end of uh, the trial, last year, uh, the judge said that there were many uh, unlawful uh, information gathering was known by many um, many uh, senior executives at Mirror Group newspapers. They were all aware of what was going on, the judge said. Uh, we're talking about the Daily Mirror, the Sunday Mirror and the people. And we now know that uh, Prince Harry's claim has been settled uh, in, in this. The uh, lawyer, Prince Harry's lawyer, David Sherborne, gave that statement to report just now. And Charlie, we know that this is a test case, so what are the implications here for other people? Well, it is a, a big case. This is just part of the wider ongoing issue of uh, the phone hacking scandal following on from the uh, Leveson inquiry. Piers Morgan in the past has denied his involvement in any of this, denied knowing uh, phone hacking was going on, uh, denied uh, knowledge that reporters were going on. But of course we now know uh, that it was going on uh, in Prince Harry's case. Uh, Prince Harry uh, was bringing this case against Mirror Group newspapers. 
Uh, he uh, won at the end of last year 15 of 33 sample cases, basically saying that journalists and reporters working for Mirror Group newspapers, uh, they were gathering information unlawfully, hacking into his phone. And we heard uh, earlier on today, uh, inside this courtroom, there are a hundred other claimants uh, waiting to have their claims processed. So this could be mounting up into a very, very uh, costly, uh, costly case, costly exercise for the Mirror Group newspapers who are being uh, pressured to settle with those claimants now. Um, and as I was saying, uh, he talked about how his mission continues. This is just one of, of four cases that Prince Harry has ongoing at the moment. Yes, not every uh, claimant. The number of celebrities involved in this in this case, but not every claimant has been successful. There were two uh, two actresses, uh, Nikki Sanderson, and an actress and the ex-wife of Paul Whitehouse, Fiona Whiteman. Their claims to have uh, their set their. Uh, payments are made basically by uh, for, for Mirror Group newspapers to uh, pay their settlements. Uh, that was thrown out. The Mirror Group newspapers wouldn't uh, have to pay uh, their costs basically uh, because they failed to settle with Mirror Group newspapers. So there are other people involved in all of this, but it's that figure the judge said of a hundred uh, other claimants waiting to have their claims processed. And the Mirror Group newspapers now have that to deal with a huge financial burden, a financial cost. Uh, facing them and there'll be pressure for them to settle with those claimants as well. Charlie Rose there at the City Courthouse in London.